Are massage guns really worth it, or can you get by with just a foam roller? Let's take a look. Hey guys, I'm Scott with Before You Buy, where we do product reviews and tips to make sure it's what you want before you buy it. And today we are looking at massage guns versus rollers. Now, they're both great products, and I used a roller many years before I got a massage gun, which was a couple years ago. A uh, little perspective, I'm a 39-year-old dad, active, I do American Ninja Warrior and competitions, and I try to just keep up with my kids, okay? And I've always used a roller until I got the massage gun, or at least I wanted to. Why? Because I found myself not using the roller, it just collected dust. Uh, I even went as far as getting, you know, vibrating rollers. Thinking <laughs> that they would help me over the time to maybe I would use that instead, uh, you know, of a massage gun. I don't need a massage gun, but I just didn't find myself using the rollers. Why? Well, maybe it's because I didn't want to be sitting on the ground. Uh, you know, to use these, you pretty much have to lay on the ground in some form or fashion. You might be able to be on the desk for certain things, which takes you to the next one. You have to kind of get creative on how to massage yourself with a roller. For instance, my forearms. If I want to do my forearms, I might stand up a little bit and apply that pressure. Or, you know, I want to get up in my hip. You really kind of have to twist yourself. Uh, IT bands, you're kind of holding yourself up, right? You have to kind of be creative on how to use a roller to massage your muscles. Um, and again, you probably are on the floor. Well, I found myself once I got the massage gun. I found that I used it all the time. Um, once I realized you have to get a quiet one, right? I talk a lot about this in my review videos. I'll leave them down below. But in my review videos, the I talk about how if the massage gun's not quiet, you're just not going to use it, right? Because when when I turn this thing on, you can't even here maybe right i was actually using this in my car ride the other day to the gym and i'm driving using it on my chest i believe and my kids couldn't even hear it in the back seat of the car uh i referenced it and they said wait are you using your massage gun right now we had no clue and i use it during watching movies with my family i can recover anywhere especially when you get one small like this one i'll leave it down below but uh, I, before you buy a massage gun, watch, watch one of my review videos on it because I want to make sure that it's the right one for your needs, right? Every massage gun's a little different and there's not just a one size fits all package, right? So, um, watch some review videos. I'll leave some link down below to help, but you can use these anywhere. You can throw it in your backpack. The battery life is absolutely incredible on pretty much every massage gun I've used. It's going to at least last you one, two, three, four, five days, maybe a couple weeks, depending on how much or little you use it. Okay, so that's just a few things to keep in mind when using a massage gun. Real quick, if this video is helping you, consider using the links down below. It does buy me a cup of coffee. It's currently after one o'clock and that's when I record my videos. I'm a gym owner, I'm a dad, and and this is where I make time to do some honest review videos for you guys. So if it helps, buy me a cup of coffee, use those links down below, but only do that if it's the right products for you. Thanks. So the downside of a massage gun is sometimes it's kind of hard to reach a certain spot. Now I have crazy flexibility and I can pretty much touch every spot on my back, but if you don't, you might need a roller right? To roll out a certain muscle on your back or maybe your legs. Maybe you don't quite have the flexibility to hit your calves or something, right? But you can always bend your leg, I guess. <laughs> but uh, also, what about the power? I actually did another video you were going to want to check out on how much power you need in a massage gun. But if it doesn't quite have enough power to get into your hips or your IT bands because you're a crazy track athlete, Maybe you do need a roller just to really get that deep muscle. Because I promise if you've laid on a roller and you have sore IT bands, you know what I'm talking about. You can't even apply your body weight to the roller because it hurts so bad. So those are a few things you might need to consider using a roller. So I'm not saying that rollers are bad and massage guns are king. I think there's a need for both. But I will say I almost exclusively use a massage gun now and 
Another quick tip is I use it for warmups. Okay, I keep harping this in my videos. I use this thing for warmups almost more than I use it for recovery. Why? Because when I started using it for warmups, my tendonitis mostly went away. So once I realized that, I started using it for even more of my warmup. Just a little quick tip there. You know, they have vibrating rollers, they have normal rollers, thick rollers, firm rollers, soft rollers, just like massage guns. They have ones that are super powerful, super light and quiet, okay? Make sure you check out some links down below if you're interested in which massage gun to get. Also leave the links to these rollers. I actually have tried a bunch and these are two of my favorites. So anyway, I hope this did help you. And if so, you're welcome. I'm glad it helped. Until next time, see ya.